Guys, we got another green one. Let's go turn that grime into shine. Okay guys, if you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you watch the last two episodes because we just finished that house right there, Mrs. Williams. I'm sorry, Mrs. Washington, and we got a chance to interview her, which is something that we don't do very often. You can see here, I just left here about 15, 20 minutes ago. You see the driveway is already starting to uh, to dry out. Well, guess what? We just signed up this neighbor here, um, you know, with the help of Mrs. Washington. She came out like a cheerleader here and uh, helped us out to get this uh, customer. $699, guys, for this driveway right here. You see how bad of a shape it, it is. I already got my concrete brightener right there waiting for me. You guys see all that mold? Look at that. Wow. This one's really bad. So let me show you what I've already done. Of course, I connected to water supply. And again, guys, this is why this is systematic, right? You want to just repeat over and over and over and over again everything. You see how bad that is right there, guys? Wow. You guys see that? So this one's in bad shape, too. So we're doing the entire house wash here house wash and concrete cleaning. Um, the only difference between this and the other job is she also wants to add um, this little piece of, what is this thing called here? Uh, sidewalk right there. Ooh, the water fell out of the, out of the tank. You always gotta keep your head on a swivel, guys. Let's put that back in there. Put that back in there. There you go. Keep your head on a swivel. Um, but anyway, uh, guys, make sure that you guys are working the system that I taught you because, man, it will lead you guys to getting quality customers, picking up tons of neighbors. Again, guys, this is a $700 job. I'm right here. I don't have to drive anywhere. And, you know, these people, they're posting stuff on Facebook and neighbors are coming by and getting flyers from me. And, uh, and yeah, so this one, let me go ahead and switch over to the GoPro and we're going to wash this house together. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay guys, as you can see, I already did the, the pre-treat of the concrete. Now I'm gonna, gonna let that sit all the way to the very end. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video, make sure because, make sure you watch it because we just did this neighbor's house right here. So now we're gonna do this house washing together. Of course, we're downstreaming and you know, one of the things we talk a lot about on the channel is how we picked up a customer and you literally here, you guys got to see in real time how that actually happened right so you know something i talk a lot on the channel about this is um doing quality work out there guys building relationships with people and bam it can happen just like that the lady here next door her name is uh, mrs washington she basically like a cheerleader she um talked the neighbor into uh you know getting the house wash done as well so super excited about that you know you always i always say this to you guys you know customers they want to do business with people they know they trust and they like and if you're already next door and you're working hard and you're doing quality work you know neighbors in the neighborhood will recommend you so make sure you guys stay super glued on to doing that i don't want to spray too much that way there's a guy right there and it's kind of windy right now, guys. To be honest with you. It came out of nowhere. All right, so when you're doing a house wash, you can remember from ground to gutter, you see how I'm going as far as I can with my fan tip. And then I'm going to switch to my shooter tip. Also, this is the worst side of her house. So you always want to start at the dirtiest side and kind of work your way that way. You know your second dirty third, third dirtiest and so forth and the reason for that being is because that's where you want the solution to sit the longest so because of the wind here i'm missing the top of the house by about 10 feet that doesn't matter because we're going to hit this with our shooter tip next you see that right there guys i'm a good i don't know 30 feet away from that right there 30 40 feet 
man it's windy the wind came out of nowhere because it was um when i first pulled up it was kind of like raining a little bit like not really but it wanted to rain it was drizzling that's what it is drizzling and now that the rain stopped it's gotten kind of windy funny thing is i'd, I'd rather prefer rain than wind because you know with rain you're getting wet regardless right so but man i hate hate the wind but it's not windy enough where it's you know it's uh disturbing me i mean i'm going like 10 feet above the house right there so this is a pretty tall house okay you guys saw that i saw stuff the entire wall here okay remember your house wash is divided um in three essential phases phase one is what you guys see me do right here which is just a sauce phase and phase two is what we call spot tree you see how i switched back to my shooter tip and phase three you know once once all the organics are gone you know your algaes your mildews mold and so forth when all of that stuff is gone all your organics are no longer on the wall you switch your system over to rinse and that's what we did here at the previous house um i didn't show you guys the house the, the wash part the chemical part but we talked about rinsing there in great detail there at that job so make sure that you guys uh you guys watch that you know because i love bringing content to you guys that you know you don't get to see every day Ooh. Not every day you get to see, you know, me interview a customer and me pick up a <clears throat> pick up a neighbor there and, and you know in in real time and you get to see how I did it and all that. Because you know, I talk about these things with you guys all the time. It's not like I don't, but it's awesome when you actually get to see it happen right right in front of you. You know, so and i have after this i have what oh right there look real green right there around this uh frame of this door i have about five big estimates to do including a couple roof jobs and that's mostly really what i do it's the one thing i don't have anybody in my company do except me is sales um i have marketing people three different administration people including an accountant but not going out there you know looking at the jobs selling the jobs i'm the only one who does that so i'm going to be out until about 7 maybe 7 30 doing estimates i've done an episode before i cannot remember for the life of me what episode it is but you can search it out i've done estimates before on uh, video but um i got another one of those because i want to do an update on that got another one of those coming up for you guys wow this is looking pretty good now the the gutters up there are still really really dirty but that doesn't matter because we just sprayed them remember guys this this um the solution has a dwell time it's not like you know you're gonna spray right now and then it's gonna start working right now the dwell time is typically you know eight to ten minutes eight to twelve minutes something like that so you guys want to be aware of that so here you go this is the third dirtiest side right there and then we'll do the front last the front's not that bad at all actually just a couple spots here and there and then like i said i'll do the concrete stuff off camera because you, you literally just saw me doing that there you go right there and if i haven't mentioned this guys you know um a lot of you guys don't know because i keep getting emails asking me why they can't see episode this or episode that like um episode 56 in that episode i break down for you how to optimize your google my business it's like a you know step-by-step -step tutorial that episode guys you will not be able to see it in your um ooh, in your library if you're not a member that's a members only episode 
the membership is something through YouTube itself. It's not like, you know, uh, through some other means. And the button is right here underneath this video. You'll see a little, little button that says um, join. You join the channel. Essentially, guys, it's a tuition to trade school. Right? If you think about, like, how expensive would it be to go to a pressure washing trade school? Right? You would pay, I don't know, thousands of dollars a year. You know, maybe ten to fifteen thousand. I'm not sure, but you know, the point is you would pay a lot of money to go to a trade school. But here, you know, you're paying five dollars a month, and we cover all of the topics that you know are important to the, the success of your company. It's not like you know, I'm a teacher sitting in an office somewhere, like I'm a guy that you know, I'm, I'm still out here working, t teaching you guys on the job how to do things. And you know, it's not like theoretical mumbo jumbo. This is actual stuff that works. A little green right there. There's a, there's a lot of great, 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 um, you know, amount of resources for you guys as members like members only video and then there's certain files that i only send to members of the channel and be honest with you guys you know i can't devote my time equally to everybody so you know i invest more time in in, in my members because it makes sense right like the members are also people that are investing in a channel and therefore i'm going to invest more of my time and energy and effort and everything into coaching those people and helping those people because you know they're investing in themselves right wow that's looking pretty good so you guys saw how i went from ground to gutter and honestly man i want to say there's probably one or two spots on this entire wall but then again we gotta let the solution you know do its thing see how i'm hitting the soffit there the soffit i'm sorry guys the the fascia board there last now that solution's running down now i'm going to do what we call spot treating right so i'm hitting any spot that i see that still looks kind of funky okay that's what spot treating spot treating does not mean that i'm going to do the entire wall all over again i'm again i mean i'm just hitting certain spots that still look green or black or whatever okay those gutters up there they're looking mighty fine right now they were really black and green early i'm gonna hit the the fate the soft fits here one more time that's looking pretty good we'll let that sit you guys saw that also practice your techniques that i've been teaching you guys if you've noticed like it's really really rare that i let go of the gun you see how i change hands without turning my gun off okay i want you guys to pay attention oh the, the fascia board up there is really dirty i want you guys to pay attention to that look i'll do it again just like that you guys practice that it's a technique that is going to help you conserve your time i very rarely do i turn my gun off I turn it off to switch tips or if like you know somebody came up to me to ask a question or something and I had to you know let go of the trigger right or if I have to go to the, the you know my truck for something but it's really really rare that you know I'm going to you know take my hand off you guys can't see this really well on camera but there's like the last three feet right there right where I'm shooting it's still a little bit black and and green so that's what spot treating is all about right there there you go we'll let that sit a little bit that spot there we might have to treat it once more and look at this gutter up here that's really black still we'll hit that really good there you go Remember, we already did three sides now, and the, this side and the back side, we, we've done twice, actually, with the spot treating, right? Like 
here we go. Her soffits over here are really black, right there. Hit the fascia board really good. That's really nasty right there as well. Bam. Let that sit a little bit. Switch to fan tip for the bottom part. I'm always keeping an eye, by the way, on uh, my water, my water levels, just in case, you know, sometimes, you know, your line will get kinked or whatever. Make sure you, you know, you're always keeping an eyeball on it. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Ooh, I like that. This is where that was green earlier, but it's gone now. Just like that, guys. You be careful here with these uh, solar lights. Wow, even this concrete is already like 50% better just with the solution. Let's see what this looks like in here. Perfect. That looks real good. Real, ooh, you guys see that right there? Look, I'm tangled up here. Always keep your head on a swivel, guys. You don't want to break people's things. Oh, that looks real good. I like how that gutter came out. And then there's a couple spots up there. And I want to hit the those shutters, too. You can't tell too much on camera, I don't think. But they got a lot of dust on them right there. Piece of bird poop right there. Now we'll hit the, what is that thing called? The soffits here. That uh, ornament. And then we'll hit the fascia board. Let that marinate for a little bit. There you go. Hit this off the shutters down here too. So we just finished basically round one. Now we're gonna go all the way through to that side and back around. And what we're doing is just spot treating. That's all we're doing. We're just looking, you guys remember how bad, even up there, that gutter, not a spot on it. This is pretty good, this is looking pretty good. I know this fascia board up there. Nah, there's not one spot, one spot left, guys. Looking really, really solid now. I know the gutters back here were really dirty earlier. Look at that. And then this side here. And then we can go ahead and switch to water. It's looking pretty good. Wow, this looks clean, guys. Real clean. We'll hit a couple spots up there. I don't think they, they're dirty, but they look dark a little bit underneath them. You know, you won't be able to see that on camera. But then, you know, since I'm hitting all the solution up there, it'll run down and clean any other spot that we missed, maybe down here. But this wall here, all the walls look pretty clean. There you have it, guys. I mean, you saw the front. There's really nothing there. The entire wall, everything's clean. So let me go ahead and switch to water. And then I'll catch you guys on the other side. We'll do the rinse together.
Guys, quick announcement. I've created a digital product called Mr. Bubbles Business in a Box. Check this out. Okay, so the Mr. Bubbles Business in a Box is actually a, a thumb drive that we're going to send to you guys to your physical address. And when you get this thumb drive, you're going to see a folder that's called Box in it. And, and then when you open it, you're going to see all of these files right here, guys, all of these folders. And guys, this thing has over 500 files, anything and everything I've ever created from my business. So all of the blueprints, uh, training modules, documents, all of the things that you guys constantly email me about, you know, your pricing PDF, your, um, your for example, you know, your your marketing blueprints anything that you could you could need for your business is in here that's why we call it a business in a box one of the things that i really like about this is guys check out all of these pictures so you have a total of 300 before and after pictures that you guys can add to your website and your facebook and your google my business and check this out so there's a folder called google seo and and the pictures already have the seo words in them and this one photo right here has over 300 this specific folder has 190 pictures but all in all it's over 300 pictures look at some of these pictures guys amazing before and afters pictures for you guys to be able to uh, add to all of your social medias and whatnot this is going to help you get a lot of customers and of course your edible postcards are on here and then finally you got training videos on here as well guys like for example uh, the video on how to optimize your google my business um, the mr bubbles you got several videos so they're like training modules you got all the pdfs the bottom line guys is this this is going to help you with your business so don't miss out make sure that you email us so you can get your business in a box today in order to get your business in a box you just got to hit the link in the description of this video and i say this all the time on the channel guys the more you know the more you grow that's how come i decided to create this business in a box because it has everything in there you need to be able to grow your business and i really really believe that this is going to be a game changer for you guys you do not you do not want to miss out on this one Okay guys, so when you first switch your system to water, always remember that you have about 30 seconds of solution still in your line. So, you know, take that into consideration, you know, if you're gonna be rinsing plants and things of that nature, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get chemical on the plants, right? So then once you're, once all the water has uh, kicked out all the chemical from your line, that's when you wanna, you know, turn your solution to walk to towards you know um rinsing rinsing the plants so takes about 30 seconds i'll show you right here with my fan tip look we're already there you can see right there look no more soap it's already out of my line so remember when you're rinsing you got to take into account the groove like we talked about in a previous episode the groove is you can't go that way it's overlapping on this side to to the left so i have to shoot that way like that the only problem is that's as long as my line will go right there so the other technique is you want to try to be as straight as possible so you're not jamming water underneath the what's it called the siding there and as always from top to bottom when you're rinsing and, and the goal is every house wash that you do guys at the very end you want the house the windows and the, the plants to be chemical free and generally speaking you want double the amount of um 
water in relationship to the amount of chemical that you put on there, right? Okay. And you see all that, all that water is running down the wall and it's grabbing all of that, all of that solution that was left on there. Everything's running down. The solution's getting further diluted. Some of you guys that are still getting complaints on your windows or, you know, people will call a few days later, complain about, you know, weird spots on your siding. Guys, the bottom line is it's because you're not rinsing enough. You're not putting enough water on your rinses. You're going too fast. You should have, you know, at least, like I said, two to three times the amount of water put on the house in relationship to the amount of, you know, solution that you put on the wall. So now I switch to my fan tip because I'm at the halfway point. See that? Just like that. Okay. See how I'm rinsing really good above the window? 10 seconds on the window, five on each glass. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fix my, my, my fan tip here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Great thing, guys, about this, you know, look at that. About this channel, let's put a little bit of water on that crepe myrtle. Great thing about this channel, guys, is that, you know, the, the stuff that I bring to you is not some theoretical mumbo jumbo that may or may not work, you know, or something I heard somebody say. No, these are things, guys, I talk to you only about things that I know that work. I know a lot of things that don't work because, you know, that's how I learned everything that I know through a process of elimination, right? I went through a bunch of no's to find my yes, right? And, and you know, you guys that, same thing here, guys, we'll start up there. You guys that have been following the channel for a while, Look at this, they need their house done as well, guys. But I, I put a five around here, so they're gonna call. When she sees that we did her two neighbors, she's gonna call. You know, and everything's lab tested. Everything that I do, you know, I know it works. If you guys apply, you know, I've talked about all my blueprints and, you know, everything that I teach you guys, there's a reason behind it, guys. Like, I, I don't just do things willy-nilly. There is a reason why I do everything that I do. There you go. Let's move on here. Just want to get a lot of water on that, on, that, uh, on that wall. Especially the bigger windows like that. I promise you guys, if you guys do all your house washes like this, how I'm doing it, man. Wow. You guys will, I mean, the, the chances of you having some kind of problem, I'm not going to say is zero. You know, you're always going to run into situations. You'll run into Karens all the time. We all do. Karens and Kens. But, you know, it, it's not going to be like common, is my point. Okay, switch back to my fin tip because I'm at the halfway point. Put a little bit here on this Christmas tree right here. Because it was kind of windy and the solution traveled a little bit. I don't have to sit here for you know for one minute to uh, to wash that to wash that to rinse that tree, but I just want to make sure that any chemical that was on it is is off. Put some water on it, it comes right off. That's all it is. And that's unavoidable because you, you guys saw, you know, I was talking about this when I started. It was windy. Wind slowed down a little bit. There you go. Doors, I typically put 10 seconds on each piece of glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
there we go and move on to the next side just like that little by little we'll do this little section in that section up there and the only thing left is the front of the house that's it when you guys learn how to do this this uh, business the right way and you develop the different systems that you need right because the quality of the work on the field guys is going to be a reflection of how well you work the system you know that's where consistency comes from uh, quality comes from consistency that's what i meant to say that's where quality comes from that consistent you know you're consistently doing things over and over and over and over again the right way that's why I, you know I, I recommend you guys you know don't skip through my videos always watch the videos through and through because there's always a gold nugget in there that will teach you things about how to run your company you know more effectively efficiently how to get customers I got so many different techniques for that See that ground from from when we're doing the, the the cleaning you guys saw ground to gutter right we're going from the bottom all the way to the top when we're doing the rinse it's the opposite and the reason why we go from the top is because you know essentially you're putting two three times more water on this wall when you're going from the top all the way to the bottom now i can switch back to my my fan tip just like that One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If you guys do it this way, I promise you, you're never gonna have any issues. You now the problem stems, you know, when you try to do things your own way, um, oh man, you know, obviously, you know, we've talked about this before. It's not like my way is the only way, guys. There's uh, what's that saying you know there's more than one way to skin a cat but man i've done it every you know i've done this business every kind of which way and that's how come you know i'm able to grow and have employees now you know my uh my main crew which is miguel and jamie you guys have you guys seen them in videos before those guys right now since the beginning of the year They've done a little over 800 jobs together as a team. And of 800, they had to go back. Like they had complaints on three. I mean, think about what a small number that is, guys. Three out of 800. So think about that. So 797 customers that they went to were satisfied. And the other stuff were, I remember one of them was like um, the windows. Um, Jamie forgot to rinse the windows in the back of one of the houses. You know, dumb stuff that happens. But, oh, there's a little bit of green right here, guys. Look. Okay. Right on that gutter right there. But also, it wasn't like it was anything major either. We'll end by putting more plant, more water on these plants. Let's go ahead and rinse. Everything up there looks really good. Here, all we gotta do is rinse the windows. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Now we can use our uh, fin tip, but the rest will be done here in a couple minutes, so. There we go. That looks really good. I don't want to get too much in here. I don't want to get uh, 
um, water on the camera. So I rinse a little bit more in there once uh, I'm off camera because I got to I got to pressure wash this anyway. There you go. There you go. Typically I do, you know, anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds per bush. These are evergreens, so they're not gonna be too finicky when it comes to the chemicals because usually, especially because they're box, boxwoods, so they're more on the acidic level anyway. So I, I feel comfortable about 10 seconds of water. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that, ten seconds. And you see now those plants there, they're so far away. And by the way, four of those plants are potted that were on the the porch that I moved. So, you know, I tell you guys this all the time. As long as you're putting water on the plants, you know, the chances of them dying, guys. I don't want to say zero of course nothing is going to be zero but you know it's going to be like almost zero less than one percent let's put it that way if you're rinsing them properly do you see that so you just you just put about 10 seconds on each one of course that right there where the the, the plan is, is that's a uh crimson queen oh crimson queen um maple so you know um you don't want to you don't want to kill that that's a six seven hundred dollar plant that one right there japanese maple so i'll put a little bit more water on that one just in case right there so on the plants that are a little bit more finicky or that i worry about i would do about at least 30 seconds of water and then on the on the other ones you know 10 you know 15 sec 10 to 15 seconds is fine just like that There you have it guys look look at the driveway here that we just did in a previous video starting to dry up so that's looking pretty good the only thing left for me here guys is i have to do the concrete work including the what is that thing called the uh, my god the the walkway the walkway there in the sidewalk and we're done but you guys see how clean everything looks guys make sure you tune into the next video the next one's going to be a shop episode and that's going to be my final episode uh, that we're talking about, you know, in all these episodes where I'm giving you guys my foundational secrets for growing your pressure washing business. So stay tuned for that. I really do appreciate you guys coming in and watching the last couple of uh, videos. Uh, you know, I, I uh, enjoy talking to you guys and coaching you guys up and giving you guys this awesome information that is going to help you grow your business. As always, guys, make sure that you email me. You will find my email in the description of every single one of my videos. Email me, I got some great resources that I wanna share with you guys that is going to help you get customers and you know get your pricing locked in and all of that. So, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.